Yo guys, what's up, Bobby here. Today we are going to be checking out Advanced Uninstaller Pro 10. It's kind of like a CC cleaner, or C cleaner, that I got bashed about in my video on the other channel I was making. But, it's like the paid version if you want to compare the two like that. It has a lot more features in it. Like if you uninstall a program, it will actually trace down the registry files for everything in it related to it, and it will remove it if you want that too. But let's look at the first option menu, general tools. You have uninstall programs, installation monitor, startup startup manager, Windows services, you can manage your services, and you have quick cleaner, uh, start menu cleaner, start menu items cleaner, font manager, control panel ma uh, manager, and web tools. Let's look at uninstall programs. And every time you install a new app, new application, it will pop up this window here, which just happened to install new applications. And it says you have installed blah, that some number of applications, you install whatever. So, let's say I installed Cinema 4D Plus, which I did. It will show up red, the text, and like a yellowish beige background on it. And... And back it just happened to got a phone call and it was distracting and they didn't even talk so it sucked. But as I was saying, if you if you install a new program it shows the text in red and it has a beige background on it. And let's say I wanna uninstall a program that I'm probably not gonna ever use again. Like League of Legends. I can click uninstall. It will uninstall the program. And it will bring up leftover scanner. And leftover scanner removes every re every single registry in it. It will scan the registry for it, and when it's done, it will remove everything that's left over in the computer from that program. Anything that that has the application related to it will be gone, which is good because you don't want the application anymore. So you have no reason to keep the stuff in it. Okay, next you have installation monitor. Which you can monitor installation then logs and keep what we install and stuff. It's really not that important. And you have Windows Services, which I usually don't use this. I just usually, oops, I just usually use the default services. You go to Start and type in Services. That's what I usually use because I'm just used to using that. And then me, this makes more sense than that. Probably the same exact thing, but I just use this. You have Quick Cleaner, which cleans up your internet, internet cache, and all that stuff, and other applications. If you want to remove the recent documents for all this stuff, why not do it? Select all. Okay. Um. Yeah. Then you click Clean. Uh. Yes. And sorry if this. Video is not perfect. I had made a screencast in a few months. So. Okay, it'll say completed it. Click OK. It's done. Then the rest is pretty much self explanatory. Then you have file and folders, and this will duplicate files, finds the duplicate, like, let's say you download songs, and you have duplicate names of the songs over and over again in your computer. You can scan it, and it will remove the and it will tell you you have this song twice or whatever and it will remove it for you if you want you can d compress your files to save it Windows temporary files remove garbage which I just did in the quick cleaner but there's still stuff there so I'll remove it okay it's gone and internet browser tools, internet browser and add-ons you can manage all that stuff registry tools which is good so I want to clean the registry Clean it. I don't have any errors except one, so repair checked. Okay. Close is done. And you can go reports and all that stuff and manage your reports. It's kind of like CC or C Cleaner, whatever you want to call it. But to me, it has more features and things in it. Like Windows fonts and all that stuff you can manage. I'm pretty sure CC Cleaner or C Cleaner. Keep saying it wrong. Damn. Okay. Doesn't manage fonts. Tools. Yeah, it doesn't manage fonts at all. So if you 
do a lot of video editing and photo editing, you tend to have a lot of fonts and all that stuff in there. This is probably good because you can manage it easily. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, thumbs up, like. And if you want, check out my daily vlogs I do. The link is below. Peace.